Regulators have shut down almost all operations of Midwest futures broker PFG Best late yesterday afternoon. This story is still breaking mid at questions of allega uh, allegations of accounting fraud and where the customer's money is. That is the big question right now we'll be talking about here on the Markets Hub this morning. I am Paul Vigna, joined by Jeff Rogo, who uh, is part of the team writing this story. And this story really is still breaking. I mean, you guys started getting wind of this late yesterday afternoon, right? Uh, just bring me through the details. Give me the, the five W's on this one. All right. I mean, it's, it's uh, where is Cedar Falls, Iowa? I mean, a, a, a veritable mecca of uh, futures trading, if you will. Um, the, the gentleman's name, Russ Wassendorf, uh, is a, a Cedar Falls man. He, he built his business in Chicago and promptly moved it back to Cedar Falls and built this big campus. He, he's, he's, a, he's a hero in this town. He's um, PFG, stands for the, the Peregrine. Uh, Peregrine Financial Group, right? Peregrine Financial, and Peregrine is, is obviously a bird that he has uh, gone above and beyond to save uh, and named, named his firm after the bird. So yesterday, uh, the NFA, right, it's the National Futures, National right? Futures. It's a self-regulatory agency, basically closed down the firm, right? That's correct. So the National Futures Association has closed down the firm. Uh, Jeffries, we're just getting word of about uh, five minutes ago, is also uh, liquidating positions, much like with MF Global. They've uh, given margin. Jeffries was a clearinghouse for them, right? Right. Jeffries was the clearinghouse. Yeah. They've uh, given the clients margin requirements, and once they can't meet their margin requirements, they can now take over all the right. financials. Okay, now, I mean, let's get to it. Why was the firm shut down? What happened? The, basically, the NFA, in, in looking at their financial documents, realized they may have said they had $225 million, but they had less than 10. I mean, this is, this is this is $200 million of overstatement in financial records going back to 2010. Going that, back, so going back to 2010, said so they had 200 million dollars and they don't have it. And they, they basically just don't have it. right. So they figured this out, shut them down. Now we want to play for you quickly. Uh, we have a clip from this is from PFG Best's website. This is a little, uh, is a commercial that the company ran that has the founder in it. Let's take a listen to that real quick. Sustainable investing is surviving long enough to succeed. If you focus on the risk, then at least you'll be there for the next trade. Sustaining your success is not only our mission, it's our obsession. I want to, Jeff, I want to talk about Wassendorf for a second. You, yeah. you mentioned that he's a big shot down there. Yeah. Uh, he's a pretty well-known name in the, secu in the futures industry, right? He, he's not a pretty well-known name. He, yeah. is a, he is a very well-known name. I mean, this is a gentleman who wrote an op-ed on our own paper about uh, securities regulation mm -hmm. and the industry. I mean, this is someone who has been a vocal uh, advocate for customers, for clearing firms, for the entire industry, and people have listened. He, he's, he's, he's a big wig in, in this city. And and, um, you know, there, there's going to be ramifications for a lot of people who trusted him, uh, both in Chicago and in Cedar Falls. Yeah, you know, I, and, and we have to point out that, I mean, he, he is in a hospital right now, correct? That's, that's is that correct? correct. So he, the, the word from, uh, from the firm is uh, yesterday, uh, between yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon, he attempted to commit suicide. Uh, he was unsuccessful, and last week heard he was in critical condition in a hospital in Iowa. Okay, so obviously, uh, you know, the man's life is at stake. That's an issue as well. Uh, but let's talk about this in terms of this scandal sounds a lot like other scandals. You know, you start talking to me about he was a very well-known name. People trusted him. I think Bernie Madoff. Um, you talk about, and, and here's a statement. This is, uh, wonderful. This is the company statement where they, this is on the website this morning. What this means is no customers are able to trade except to liquidate positions. That's what I said when just about everything was shut down. Until further, further noticed, PFG Best is not authorized to release any funds. So again, you have basically the client's money, yeah. wherever it is, has been frozen, right? That, and that's correct. You cannot, you know, and, and liquidate for a futures brokerage, keep, keep in mind, means both selling and, and buying. Mm -hmm. If you're short something, you have to buy to liquidate that position. So what it means is you can't trade, but you can you can liquidate in some senses, some senses at the moment. We've talked to several customers though that can't touch their money. So while they say you can liquidate, what we found with a lot of customers is that isn't that isn't that the isn't case. That is the case right now. Yeah. And you know, obviously everyone is comparing this to MF Global immediately. Yeah. I think more because of the fact that they're both in the same sort of corner of the financial yeah. world than whatever actual crimes may have happened. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing, you, you get all the comparisons thrown out. You're getting MF Global, you're getting Bernie Madoff, you're getting Alan Stanford given the 
right. parallels of, of, a, of an owner that right. is so well known. The, the best parallel is probably Refco, given MF Global was a clearer. Th these guys didn't clear. And, and so if you look at the parallels, Refco is probably the one right. that makes the now most sense. Now here, what you're seeing right here, here now, folks, is another, there's another snippet from a letter that was on PFG Best's website from back in November after MF Global collapsed. And they say PFG Best is not only customer centric, but compliance focused. It is our policy to keep extra funds on deposit in our customer segregation accounts to protect you. This letter was basically them saying, look, we're not MF Global. Yeah. We would not do those things. We care about the customer. We care about compliance. But doesn't look very good right now. But there was an interesting thing in that statement. If you saw at the bottom, just in there, there was a little two words, Junior. That's his son, Ross Wassendorf's Junior, who was running the firm at the time. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, since then, he's been sanctioned. And they, the firm had to pay a $700,000 fine as part of another uh, legal case. And so, I mean, this, this uh, it, I guess it goes pretty deep down the, the rabbit hole in a lot of different ways. Yeah, all right. This story obviously not going anywhere. And you guys are going to be covering this one for a while. So I'll let you get back to that story.